<clears throat> Greetings to all. Welcome to my Aries and Libra. We are going to be looking into some ancestral and past life trauma. The way that I'm going to go about doing this is to get some characteristics or some attributes or maybe something that they once did or maybe um, some type of trauma or loss or lesson that they had to learn that may not have been learned by them but now it has been passed down into the generations or past lives that you just chose not to do it. So this is how we're going to look at this and then we're going to go down the white rabbit hole and we're going to look into your release and your embrace and then we're going to also look at some challenges that you may face as you release and as you come to embrace. This is general. It may or may not be your characteristics or your attributes of your ancestors or your past life that is coming forward at this time. Um, there may be something in this that will be useful um, for you. However, all that jazz, you know what to do if you so desire. But I desire that you hit that like button. You know, get me into that algorithm if I am bringing any value into your life or any type of awareness or confirmations, anything into your life. That's what I desire. Um, also, I would like to welcome to all of my returns and to all of my new subscribers as well. For those that are true and sincere for a one on one consultation with or without cards, I will leave my email in the description box. Also, um, for those that um, would like to leave some type of private comment or something you may want to share, nothing malice, straight, you know, goodness, or needing some type of assistance or whatever. So, who? Aries. Libras, because remember, Aries Libra, regardless of what side of the pole you're on, if you're an Aries Sun, that's your physical, okay, and that's your um, that's your Earth, and then the opposite half is your um, is your spiritual half. This is your connection to the subconscious, in so many words. May not exactly, but I'm going to say to the omniverse, to the unknown, okay, that comes together to bring harmony. You could be a Libra sun, you know, but that means that's your earthing, that's your grounding. How you connect spiritually is through the energy of the Aries to bring the balance and harmony to the pole instead of the pole keep moving and shifting and doing all kinds of stuff because it's out of balance. All right. <clears throat> Also check out some other placements as well. Um, this feels like your south node placement um, and your moon. Ancestors can also represent in the ninth, no, the eighth house or the twelfth house as well. Let's see. I call upon my highest self. To connect to this intuitive, ancestral, and past life's trauma, intuitive message. May the inspiration and the protection of the Supreme Creative Source guide and the ancient of the ancient ancestors and the higher realms of our greatest good guide this experience as we go in, fearing no evil nor ego, bringing the knowing and the wisdom to our hearts and our minds to know the difference through our discernment and the resonance in our hearts. Ashe. So let's get some characteristics. I really need some oil on my hands. My hands are a little dry. I think I'll put some oil on my hands. I desire that everyone is doing well. Let's see. This is also to um, this is also to assist you to bring some awareness into yourself 
um, and how whatever may come out on the table you may not even be aware of that isn't even a characteristic of yourself truly or within your heart because you hear and feel certain things um, for example you know I might be have a moment where I'm off kiltered and I'm feeling angry overwhelmed and I'm like <sighs> And I'm looking at the situation, and I'm like, okay, hold up. That doesn't even belong to me, you know, because inside my heart, I really want things to be a different way than the outcome that came physically. So spiritually, I want it to be a certain way, but physically, it was expressed totally opposite, totally lunar. <laughs> but, all right, Aries Libras. Clear the air. Clear the air. Clear the air. If it is me, then it is we. As above, so below. We give thanks. Aries and Libras, ancestors, Spirit God, bring forth the message of the ancestors that is most prominent for my Aries and Libras at this past, at this present moment. We have judge. Okay. This feels like a Willie a Willie Lynch type situation. I need another thing. This feels like a Willie Lynch type situation. So this is dated some time ago. This is an ancestor that um <clears throat> experienced some brutal brutality um in their life this is also or could be someone that worked within the judicial um system Then we have the healer. This could have been a doctor. This could have been um, a medicine woman or a medicine man, a shaman. This could have also been, I'm seeing a kitchen. <laughs> I'm seeing a kitchen like like grandma or somebody in the kitchen and they brewing up something, getting something together and then, you know, go and apply it. I'm seeing some type of repair, but the the medicine is in the kitchen. The medicine is in the kitchen. But I'm seeing it coming in, being harvested and being brought in and then prepared, like it's being prepared for the repair of someone it feels like a body and a spirit situation entity let's clarify entity situation it feels kind of like some of um there's also a, a someone that might have um done some type of uh exorcist work you know um was an exorcist or something feeling kind of priesty You have to bear for the information for my team, you know, my higher self to bring the information. I have my team working to see who is the most important to come into this. Then we have child nature. 
okay. This feels like a, a animal spirit. This feels like an animal spirit. This feels like an animal that um, someone within my Aries Libras that lost, lost that special little friend. Yeah. That's how that feels to me. This feels like an animal spirit coming in. All right. Oof, this energy is hot. One moment before we go on. One moment for me. Well, a moment for me, a second for you. Okay, <coughs> I had to get. I had to let it get a little quiet around here. It's a lot, a lot of um, past life situations and ancestors that are truly seeking to be healed, and they know that they heal through you. Okay, my Aries Libras, they heal through you. This is my very first um, read strongly like this, and it's a little overwhelming for me, but I will be doing, I see I will be doing more of these for the collectives. And I also want to make mention that there's an energy here as there's a couple other ones that I feel are important um, that needs to come out so I'm there's someone here that was very biased very judgmental um, they were unfair um, unwilling to listen um, there's a situation um, that was very disturbing because it was something very important that needed to be spoke of, be dealt with, and it was pushed aside. It went unheard. So that's that situation. This child nature is feeling like someone within your ancestral lineage is asking or seeking to be born to come through a vessel to um, to get it right there's some things that um, this person may have done that you um, are not aware of or that you are aware of and they're no longer here with you um, that brought forth some type of abuse or created trauma in your life. It feels like physical or sexual and verbal abuse. So pretty much the abuse is the, you know, and also um, they're saying don't forget substance abuse. Um, there are certain things as a child that was witnessed by you that this substance abuse um I don't know, affected you within your life somehow. Um, and they're asking to be reborn. Whoever this person that might have had a certain animal possibly had a strong connection to nature, you know, um, it's different energies that's coming with this nature. It's very broad, but whoever had that earthy type um, energy but all of these of who wants to be born um, may have done you wrong in some way and there's they're asking for a letter a petition a letter of petition from you to write out what you um, my things falling apart write out what you need to say about the situation and then find and write a letter of forgiveness and gratitude in the things that you have learned um, from this individual person that is no longer physically here. 
This can also be a birth of a past life. So, I think I'm clear. I think I'm clear. So you basically are rewriting, you're, you're editing the contract as above, okay? Through this petition type letter and this gratitude. And you have to state where you want them, you know, give them an idea of their next parents to come through and what to look for. You can write that into the contract through you writing from your physical right here, from your heart space. And you can rewrite that contract and you can send it up. You know, you can send it up so that they can make the necessary edits, okay? And you will re receive some type of spiritual um, receipt to let you know it was received through signs and synchronicities. Okay, I see this may be a little lengthy. You're really getting some um, information here. Past lives. I don't even, I don't even think I'm going into this deck, fam. I think we need to go ahead and look into the rabbit hole. They're saying, no, no, no. That's me trying to run, <laughs> okay? All right, Aries Libra. Whew. Past life. This could be who you were in a past life. Two of them. One more. Is that I don't know. Okay, guess not. This is a two-sided alternative um, sexuality, same sex. And then on the other side, you could have been an adult male that um, nature based that connected to nature in a past life um, the death could have been mm, animal attack so this kind of feels like someone like a hunter like the man could have been in you could have been a hunter could have been out in the jungle I'm feeling like the jungle the safari like on some type of excavate Yeah. Hubris. I've heard that word before. The lesson is to be hubris. Oh, be more confident. If I'm not mistaken, hubris is dealing with confidence, being courage, courageous, brave, hubris. Okay? The lesson from your past life that you're trying to learn now is self-confidence. Then we have um, accomplishment, some type of high achiever. You were could have been a competitor, um, experiencing a lot of different um, failures as well. A lot of failures and disappointments. In a past life, you could have been um, a jogginess, neither male, female, gender. Traumatized within your mind. You came from another galaxy, another solar system. Um, another star system and your lesson here um, that they presently want you to learn you died of old age but you are here to learn self-love oh 
Okay. I think I need to take me a break. All right, let's go down this rabbit hole, family. Let's go down this rabbit hole. This is my Alice in Wonderland Oracle deck, and I have my Alice in Wonderland Tarot deck. To now, let's look at us within this. The ancestral and the past life baggage and traumas that we are carrying presently within. So let's see what the release is for my Aries Libras. Oh, little love one. Little love. My little ice, my mouth is getting hot. This energy is really hot. Some of you are being asked also to make an environmental change. This is an overall environment. It feels like you live in a city and you're being asked to get out of the city. To find something that is more connected to Mother Nature. To nature's spirit. So that you can have a better um, place to go out and communicate to aid you within your healing. Too many. <clears throat> So we have four, four that came out, I'm trying not to look at them, and I'm going to pick from here, release. The release is investigation, the release of investigating, having to constantly ask all these different questions, um, why didn't they think before they act? Just, you know, just release that. You know, digging deep, asking, just, it's like, yeah, just stop. Release it. That control, that judge, the unfairness. Okay. That's destructive, destructive criticism. And the embrace is the right way. First we have investigate. And that is on card number seven. I'm also hearing <coughs> in order to assist you with building up your self-confidence, investigate in the areas that have you have not looked into. And this is with the past lives. Past life. Some of you have probably had a lot of dreams where you're in nature. And also, um, this, because it says think before you act at the end. So it's like, what needs to be released is being um, spontaneous, you know, um, being reactive instead of responsive. Then you have the right way. And it says, learning to create what you desire. The right way is through that self-love. The lesson of your past life that's asking you to bring forward self-love so that you can heal and have compassion um, for yourself so that you can then be, you know, once your mind and body and soul and everything is unified holistically, then you can go out and serve people um, as you need with this judge and be of justice and equality with compassion in your heart. And that crown just hovering in the air. And then the sacred letter. 
the embrace, <clears throat> the crown, and it's red like a heart. The foundation, it is a heart, and the foundation, the foundation of the heart, self love, baby. Write these, even if not for that, some of you for your self love regimen, you need to write because there's a letter with that stamp. The stamp of royalty. This release of investigate. What do they need to release? My Aries Libras. First out, we have the Three of Cups. <clears throat> Too many people in your business. Too many people letting, too many people release, too many people that is investigating in you. Asking you too many questions. Finding yourself stuck in the middle. Mm. Then we have the Ace of Swords. Then we have the Devil. Yeah, the third party or the company that's around um, that you have a lot of questions to that you may not physically or verbally speak out some of you are speaking out but this is part of the entrapment of the trauma not speaking up your truths, keeping your your tongue bounded. And then for those that are, I don't know which one I just said, it's the opposite. So those that are speaking, yes, saying just this, that, and whatever to you, asking you all these questions, like you're under interrogation, speak up. And those that are doing this to others, be humble. Quiet your tongue. That's that judge, that judge, like, because that's like in the, tra in the trauma of this energy of the ancestor, you know, um, they had to be told, be quiet. You, you don't have right, mm -hmm. zip it up. So you're being asked to release that. And the right way. What is the embrace for my Aries and Libras for the right way? Learning to create what they desire. Hmm. Stop reaching for them cups that is those cups that are already spilled over. Learning to create what you desire. So stop reaching. Five of cups. Stop reaching for those cups that's already spilled. Why are you trying to get up there? Ain't nothing in it. It's it's way past you. Come back to reality. Come back to reality. Present. In the present moment. Then you'll see out of your peripherals. You'll see those new cups that's sitting there. Learning to create what you desire the right way. Be present. Then you have the Four of Wands. <clears throat> the right way is to take your time and build the structure. And take your time to build the structure. That way you can truly enjoy it in the company 
that is best or of your greatest good. Now, because, see that? Building, taking your time to build, to be able to celebrate. She got her little company, you know, her peaceful company, humble, enjoying a cup of tea with some briskets. And so, oh, I see some strawberry shortcake and some cupcakes and an apple. Okay? The right way. And then we have the Ten of Wands. And this is about burdens. The right way is to take the burdens, the frustrations, the aggravations, the irritations, the annoyance, all of that, the delusions the feeling abused or feeling like a victim and turn it upside down because that's how it came so that's the right way okay that way you can come into the creation that you desire within your self love but you have to like I just said with that ten of wands let's see anything else the moon don't be afraid of anything you know don't be afraid or uncertain you know with communicating with your ancestors um to a higher level or the ancient ancient ancestors you know um and also just pay attention to some of the behaviors as well that was expressed at the beginning of the judge the healer and the child nature and Allow yourself to be more confident, more l confident to love you, and more confident to be more courageous to speak forward to things that you may need to speak up that is involving the matters of the heart with the Three of Cups and the Five of Cups, okay? Which equals eight that you can truly, together, walk away. Definitely walk away from this. So really dig deep, look within, don't be afraid to write a petition, love letter, um, and opening, releasing that um, toxicity. And for those that have already done that over and over and it just still doesn't seem like it's working, there's something that you have to learn from that. So look over, you know, prioritize yourself to look over so that you can come to the lesson that was meant for you to learn from it then maybe you can be released from that area of your life and my Aries and Libras Mama Solili till next time Ashe